What's up everyone, it's Jan Bors, new video, new Eurovision summary and today it's time for semi-final 2 and as you all know, especially the fans who are watching my channel that I was criticizing the running order I still don't feel very comfortable with this but you know I changed my mind of making a whole different running order in this video it's make no sense, it's just confusing let's you know, deal with it, respect it, it's anyway the only thing we can do now and as I was a producer, I, you know, I kind of hated as well that, that somebody else was talking that my running order wasn't right or was different. We all have a, have a right to have different opinions. We will respect this one and I will respect this running order in my video in here. Even I don't like it, but that's how it is. I don't want to confuse you, but I want to talk about the songs themselves and the countries and their chances, what I feel they have at Eurovision semi-final 2 this year. Let's talk about it. Alright guys, and before I just get started, you know, and I've made this list so you can skip actually this asking for subscribes and likes and sharing the video. I just did it. I just, you know, a bit summarized this, this semi-final as well. As I think it's very different and you all probably will agree it's very different than the first one. It had few favorites, but it's not, you know, the strongest one in the way how we probably normally describe what strongest one is. That's a very different one. And it's very hard to tell who's gonna go through. As if the first semifinal is hard to predict which great song will not go through. Here it's a weird situation as it's a different kind of quality. Different, but not, you know, lower. It's just different kind of song styles in the semifinal. It's maybe more diverse kind of, or you know, just have different feeling. Different feeling. I think that's the way how to describe. So if you want to skip to your country, what I think about it, you can do it. I just made it this you know skip passages in the in the timeline, so you can choose this or you can watch it all and listen what I think. So let's start with number one. And the number one, it's San Marino, Sad Hit, Adrenalina. I made a review for this song. I'm not a huge fan of this, but I really understand why it's number one as well. It's a bop. It just starts with a huge energy. And if Sad Hit going to perform the well, I really think it can go through. Like, not easily, but I think it can, as it will burn into your, into your, you know, brain. Especially if there's going to be a rapper, whoever, Florida or whoever else will just make this passage, you know, it will make you dance, it will make you in a good mood, it will really make you feel something. It's a good start, it's a really good start and I think it can be borderline qualifier like it was with Sir Hutt. I respect how fun they make things, they know how to do it, everything has such kind of quality and I'm really looking forward to this. Great start and I think that it's really good for San Marino as everybody will remember this. For sure. I really think so. Next. Number two is Ukusuviste, the lucky one. You know that I'm not like a huge fan of this song. Like, well, that sounds weird, but I was a part of the jury in Estonia. I didn't really vote for this song. For me, it's like a huge Eurovision formula, but let's 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 go with the positive things on this song. It's selected, so whatever. Estonian public really loved it. There must be something about it. And the one thing is Uku himself, who is just great looking, and you know, it shouldn't be considered as plus, but it is. And he's great with the camera. He knows how to do it. He knows what to do, when to do it. It's really great. I really envy every artist who has the possibility to do national selection in such quality like Estonians have. You know, learn everything about the staging already. Our artists, they're just learning it right now. That's always a bit big disadvantage for them. But he knows how to do it and his staging, actually, this song is more about the staging than the song itself in my eyes. That's why I didn't really vote it for it. As for me, it's more like a showcase how to make things done. And it was great. Estonians are great in it, you know, like, it's not the only thing which was great about the selection and he can you know surprise even I wouldn't bet 
for it. I wouldn't vote for it. I can understand why the public really likes it and maybe that's going to be the case this year for Estonia as well. Next. Third place, Czech Republic. Don't you expect I will say something wrong about my own country, no. I'm a huge fan of Benny's. I think he is a hard worker. He doesn't have it easy because he's a huge star in here, but he never experienced anything near Eurovision in terms of how it works, what's necessary. Three minutes, cameras, camera angles, like precise staging, because we don't have it here. He has, even he's a huge star, he sold huge concerts and he has a huge experience and he's great with audience on place. This is going to be a new experience for him. I really wish he will do it. He would not be nervous about it, that he will just do it perfectly because that's the key how to succeed, how to get to the finals because the song is great. I don't know about the staging, but he has a great charisma and if he's going to sell it confidently, like he must be confident in what he's doing with a voice and everything, he will go through. I believe in it, you know, the studio version of the song, I really like it. I still go in it on repeat. I can't say anything else, but let's say something like this. If he's not going to be perfect on stage with the cameras, I think he can struggle to go through as we know that the staging will be dancing. I'm not really a fan of this, you know, destruction, especially in the song, which doesn't really need it. But maybe I'm completely wrong. It's subjective thing anyway. And I will have all fingers crossed, you know, both feet and hands for him to go through. As This is going to be phenomenal if we're going three times in a row there. And we'll see about it. And he's famous here doesn't really means that it will work for Eurovision. But I'm really glad that and I'm proud that he went this way from his comfort zone somewhere else. That needs guts and he has them. And I hope he will sell them as well. Next. Stefania, Last Dance, number four in the running order. Great song, it's a great song. I, you know, I said it's not that current in my video and I still think it's not, but it's not a bad thing. Like, style evolved a bit. It's not wrong because the only thing will matter is it's that's a great song. And for sure it is. It has everything, positive vibe, great voice, I really believe it will have a great staging, understandable, not too complicated, enjoyable for me that I don't really understand why it should not qualify. Like what could ha what what could really happen? Like what what can happen that like how this song will not qualify? I believe it will 100% qualify. It has it has everything, you know. It's catchy, you will remember the rhythm. If they do great recaps, it will instantly catch you where you've been. That's very important for the song, but for me, in my own opinion, this is one of the best songs Greece ever sent to Eurovision, especially in the last like five years, for sure. For me, it's the best thing. It's, it's fresh, it's, it's, it doesn't scream I'm great. It just screams with listen to me again and again and again. Actually, it kind of already won, but because this is one thing which is even more important than those three minutes at Eurovision. And I think if it's going to qualify, and it for sure will, is going to end up in the left side of the scoreboard. Maybe even top 10. Next. Fifth place, Austria, Vincent Bueno, Amen. I didn't make a review for this song yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, but it's not because I don't like it. It's just because I think I just you know, lost the momentum where it was necessary to do it. So I'm doing it now, kind of. Maybe I will just do a bigger review. Write me in the comments below if you want it. But I wasn't a big fan of last year's song. This year's song I really like. It took me some time. It took me a while to like it. And definitely it's not my favorite song, but it's good. And if he's going to sell it with the voice and charisma he has in the music video, it's already great, regardless it goes through or not. Of course, I believe he can do it. It's going to be really, really hard for him and I wouldn't put a bet on it. But there are many other songs which I wouldn't do it at the semi-final. It's very unpredictable. And we know that Austrians, even there's just, you know, upside down doing things. 
that they can surprise, especially with violence, you know, like remember Cesar Samson who expected Hayes go through and he ended like second or third. This, you know, this can surprise as well. Like, I don't know how Winston sings live, how is his charisma live or how complicated the staging will be. I think it won't because there's no need for it. And he's likable to watch. If he's going to sell the message of the song, I think that has a big chance to go through and we're just at the start. Next. Rafael The Ride, 6th place. I made this review for it, I'm not a fan of it. It really reminds me of our 90s or 80s style in here, just made in English. I don't see the quality in here, but maybe that's just my problem, maybe you do it. I'm really curious if it's going through. In my opinion, it's definitely not the modern 80s. It's wanna be modern 80s, but it's not. But, you know, that's as well, subjective. Maybe there are a lot of fans of this, Maybe he's going to sell it. If he's going to sell it, well, go to the finals. I'm okay. And I'm really curious if Polish diaspora will vote for it, as we know that how powerful this can be. But I'm not really sure that in the 80s semifinal, this has a chance with juries. But maybe I'm completely wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'm already sorry for it. That can happen. Next. 7th place, Natalia Gordenko, Sugar, Moldova. I'm not a fan of this. I expected it that this is going to be the first song as it's really as well dancey, but maybe it's as well a bit cringy or you know, if I just take this music video, that's not definitely the thing I would like to see the first thing at Eurovision this night. But, you know, I must, I must admit that there is something about this song, not for me. I'm just really not a fan of this style. I maybe would say the same with, with San Marino. I don't see the next thing, you know, the, the level up, the elevation, like, but it brings joy. Let's admit it. It brings kind of joy. It, it brings kind of, you know, good vibe. Definitely dancey in this dancey semi-final already. It can go through. I would probably say it all the time. I'm not sure. I, I wouldn't bet for it. I wouldn't bet that the juries will vote for this. Maybe the ones from the Eastern Europe. Is it possible? It depends on the taste. Definitely not the taste of me. I wouldn't vote for it. But maybe the public will, as public sometimes tend to vote for such songs. I'm curious. Next. Eight. Oh, it's 10 years, but end place for Daddy Freyer and Gagna Magnet, Ok Mag Gagna Magnet. You tend to say a lot of time, I read of course the whole discussion on the internet, it's not better than last year. In my eyes it's much better than last year. Or maybe I got used to Daddy's style of doing songs, easy going, really crazy combination of music, but it's so confident, you know. It's weird, nerdy and confident. It's like, I am who I am, here I am, I'm doing this kind of music. That's what is actually me. You can trust it's me. I'm just like this. You can expect this at Eurovision, at my concert as well, because it just screams, I'm doing weird stuff like this. But weird stuff with quality. It's not cringe. It's, you know, it really speaks to my nerdy soul, Power Rangers music video. It has everything, it doesn't, doesn't play shit, you know, it's just what you expect it to be. And that's great, I like this approach, I really like this approach, I really understand why he can become a huge star, because he's authentic. And that's maybe what a lot of artists at this semi-final kind of lack, and some kind of really has it, who have it, will go through, and this is going through for sure. And this is going to do a great result in the finals as well. 100%. It's not going to be miss. Like, I think who says it's not a contender for winning, just don't want to see it. And I will say sorry if I'm wrong, but I think I'm not. Next. Ninth place, Serbia. Last song from the first half of the second semifinal. Loco, loco. I must say I like it. This has quality. It has this, you know, Serbian, Balkanese, I don't know, I'm not touching anyone's soul, that's not the intention, but everything is there. But as well, it lacks of this 
kind of sometimes what I feel this super Balkanese style quality which in my opinion lacks of quality but this has it this has a great production it's a earworm kind of it's one of the songs I have in my car listening to it and not swapping it from the you know those kind of dancey disco tracks because I like it I like to listen to it I like to think how it's going to look on the stage as it could look really like super sexy in the really screaming way but maybe why not and I really expect it's going to be loco loco a bit crazy a bit easy going you know with with it like we are the queens here we don't care but as well there's going to be like the cool charisma like like whatever you know we enjoy in it and that's if it's going to be this formula this is going through as well as Lots of people I think like it and from those dance tracks this is the best for me, definitely best produced. But the live performance would show us how it's going to be for real. I'm curious, I would bet on it that it's go through. But let's talk about the next song in the second half. You, Tornike Kapiani. And this is a song for me which I don't really get fans really underestimate as this is going to be a uh, meat for Eurovision hope it's they're not vegetarians actually this is going to be it as it's very different from anything else before heard it's a great song in the way how it's produced what quality it is and how pure it is and we already know that Tornik has great voice as well and I don't really care what he does or doesn't really write on social media we all sometimes tend to be very emotional and you know touch your own soul how many times you wrote something really wrong about some artist that's as well not good they're the same people as we are you know they're just saying on the stage which makes them special but on the other hand they are the normal humans and you is a great song it's a great song pure I like it I like the approach which is completely different than anything else and it's not cringe, it's not weird, it doesn't really say I'm here for Eurovision. He said like I'm here to sing a song which really means something to me and we all know that this is actually the much better approach than made song for Eurovision without you know any other connotation with me as an artist myself. So I really believe this will score great with, with Eurovision jury. Not sure if it's going to be great with votes with fans, but if he's going to sell his charisma on stage, the votes will be there and he will go through. And I would kind of put bet on it that it will go through. I would. Next. 11th place, Karma, Anzela and Albania. This is going to be interesting. This is the song which is in Albanian language. No one will understand the lyrics, which can be a great, great thing to have as you definitely only need to sell the charisma, the, you know, the feeling, the real feeling, the power from the song. Stereotypically, I would say, and I said it in my, in my video I've made about this song, that this is like, Eurovision example like how things was made and it's all school in the way how I feel music maybe there's nothing wrong because there is no kind of ballad like this and I don't think it's going to be that great on stage by the artist presents but you know there is a lot of time went through it a lot of practice rehearsals I think Angela will just do it great like any other Albanian do because they put soul into it, they mean it, they mean what they do and this can really really surprise. If I would put a bet, I would bet that it won't go through, but I wouldn't be really mad if it goes through. Because if it's going through that means that it proved its quality and well, I respect it and I'm all for it. Next. 12th place, Black Mamba, Portugal, love is on my side. A lot of people for some reason doesn't like it because it's 
ordinary and I like it because it's ordinary I really like it it just says we are musicians we do music this song has a great story but most people will not know it but it's pure it's as well as Tornike's song this is pure music juries will love it because it's just don't scream like hey great staging flames everything it's just you know it's music itself. Maybe it could be said it's a bit boring, but it's only a point of view. I like this kind of song. After Anzela, I think it's going to be good contrast as well, as it's a very, very different. It brings you to very different atmosphere. I think the song after it will not have it really easy in the comparison of how ordinary it is. It could be a great advantage for this song. Next. 13th place, Bulgaria, growing up is getting old from Victoria. I'm starting to be really, really obsessed with this song. I like it, I like the lyrics, I like this, you know, orchestration, I like the music, it's just something very, very different than anything else as well. They won't have it easy as maybe some people will, will feel it's a kind of a construct but I don't really think it's going to be this case because it's pure quality. Victoria, I think she's a different artist as well. She will grab your attention, hopefully. I, I believe she can do it and this song is just has a story and even it's a ballad after ballad. I like this kind of concept. It, it's just so very different approach to the ballad. Modern one, but still, you know, in the world of a young person who really, really don't want to get old. Do I understand it correctly? I like it. I think that this is going to be 100% qualification and it actually will support as well the song before as I think lots of people will really tend to think at this part of, of this concept of the running or about the life or something like this and that will help all of those songs so i'm really curious about the rest but this is going through for sure next next is finland blind channel dark side number 14 change of atmosphere change of everything let's go new metal all the way wakey 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 this is definitely getting you on your shoes i'm really curious how this will end up for me it's one of the favorites as well or top 10 favorites because this is definitely for sure something else you will remember it the only disadvantage of the song is that if the juries will be my age and love this kind of music they will definitely vote for it but not sure how much they will vote for it it's not the best from the genre and the genre is kind of old it's our teenage ages so really curious with the juries but i'm really sure that the public will vote for it as for many many teenagers or many many 20 year old you know 20 generation this will be a me because they kind of don't know this music you know it's not played that much anymore or did this genre evolve and it's still good you know and that's what matters there's a quality for sure it's a huge quality so i am pretty sure that it will qualify it will be shocking for me that it wouldn't qualify but it would be the shock actually which i would kind of accept but i don't really believe in it next With the number 15, the moon is rising in Latvia with Samantha Tina. I'm, you know, I like the song. I, I, I just made a video about how I like it. It's this, this kind of style, you know, female energy. It's a female, like, I don't, like, this is very tricky all the time. But just this great artist energy. It's a great music, but I think what can backfire this song is that it's a combination of so many things. When, when I listen to it many, many times already, sometimes really annoying me. But the juries and the public, most of it, will hear it for the very, very first time. And that can be great for it. But as well, that can be the problem that if the performance wouldn't be vocally awesome, it would have the similar, similar fate as Portugal in 2019. As it's just too much of things going on, which will be hard to really pick the one 
to remember when you compare it to the rest of the peloton so i wouldn't put the bet on it even i think this can really really qualify but that's just what i really would like to qualify most likely that i believe it will really curious about it as this song has huge energy and as well it's very different from the rest especially from the rest from this part of semi-final so maybe that will work for it we'll see we'll see it's not very easy next number 16 switzerland to universe that's awesome song film and music movie music it's just made for a huge cinema or a great great art film i really would like to hear it in some movie like really really much it has everything it drugs me and i'm always hearing it you know listening to the song like it love it it has quality we can discuss how much it's similar to the concept of duncan lawrence it, I, I think it's kind of ir irrelevant because this concept show itself it's it works as well it just it's a bit widespread you know you can just do the ballad modern way this is one of it it's artly way arty way and I, I, I like it. I, I, I just can't imagine this is not going through. Like, I can't. I just really hope that the staging wise, it's not going to be screaming Duncan Lawrence 2.0. That I would see like that's a shame a bit, but that's up to Swiss delegation, you know. But I would be really glad that they will just come, come up with some different idea and just show it's going to be done differently on the stage. But the song is great, it's going through and it's one of the favorites to win the contest. It is, betting or not, I really believe this, like it's top 5 for sure. Next. 17th place, Oveos Pohiranden, Fir and Flamme. Did I just... You know, you know. But this song is great in the way how it's performed live. I think it's going through. I'm not a huge fan of the studio version, but when you watch the live, the finals in the in the Denmark, that's just pure. We take it seriously. We do it seriously. We just know how to do it. We love the style. We love to perform, and they perform. Damn, that's great. That's great. How they sell their potential, and I think that's the not dark horse of winning the version. Not for sure. I would be super surprised, but definitely dark horse in the way that it's going through instead of any other song I said before, not just those super favorites. And I even think that it will go through not from the 10th place, but from some kind of like 5th or something like this. I would put a bet on it. But what about you? That's all from me from now, regardless this results. I then probably will do some kind of like top 10 of me or something like this. But I'm really curious about your opinions, your ideas, how you would vote. Really, really curious about it. And don't forget to share this video, subscribe to the channel, like the video or dislike, discuss. Tell me, talk to me on my social media. I like discussions. There are a lot of discussions which should be probably done in next upcoming years, which are very important for most of you or lots of you. And we should do it. So. Let's discuss, don't do it rude, do it with fun. That's what Eurovision about. See you next time guys, thank you for watching, bye.